what's being offered um, in the website on Balance View and in all the trainings, in the introductory trainings, uh, the uh, 12 empowerments and all the power of benefit trainings, is an, an immediate introduction to the nature of your mind so that it's not just an idea, that it's actually a felt sense, an instinctive recognition. And so to, to just really open that up right now, in a, in a really basic way, if we all just stop thinking for a moment. There's an obvious alert knowing presence, whether you're hearing my voice or not. The same alert presence is totally clear. It's obvious. Now, the obviousness of the power to know every experience is simply gone unrecognized. And it hasn't been acknowledged in our day-to-day in our -day walk of life. And so in a short moment, it's acknowledging the power to know every experience, the power to perceive every experience exactly as it is, without trying to change anything. And so the, the openness of your mind is being acknowledged. And what we come to recognize, and what we've proven scientifically, is the openness of our mind is pervading everyone and everything equally. It's not contained in a skin suit. It's pervading the skin suit. And it's pervading everyone's skin suit equally. And so we've come to recognize scientifically that the skin suit is vibrating sound and light not some static uh, rock, <laughs> you know. It's vibrating, vibrating, vibrating. It's the vitality of, of reality. And so we, we simply haven't acknowledged the basic space, the spaciousness and openness of the vitality. You know, we look around right now, whatever you're looking at right now, we could describe it. We could describe, you know, the, the, the colors, the... And the, maybe you're looking out of a window right now. You can describe the landscape, and I could describe everyone I'm seeing and every, all the eyes I'm looking into right now. But if we, if we just are focusing on descriptions, then we miss the all-pervasive equalness that's the power to know those descriptions. So a short moment is acknowledging the alert openness that what's looking right now is always looking and the vitality of your experience, whether it's a thought, emotion, sensation, any experience whatsoever. And so we simply were trained to try to collect experiences or recreate experiences that we had termed good or positive. And then we tried to eliminate the experiences that we had labeled negative. And then it, the, other, the neutral, there was indifference. And so we didn't even realize that we had slowly adopted this mechanistic way of relating with everyone and everything. And we simply adopted this way of relating because we saw role models. We saw role models since we were a baby relating in this way to some degree. Now, the, the shift is that we have a choice. And we, d we weren't educated that we have a choice in how we use our mind. We simply went along with society, went along with our family. And we adopted, to some degree, our family of origin and society's cultural assumptions and beliefs. And because we didn't realize, we assumed this education about our mind, it became mechanistic, like a reflex. And, and, and in Balanced View, we introduce a comprehensive view of intelligence so that the inclusivity of our mind, the power of our mind, that's like the spaciousness of all multiverses and everything that's appearing within it. And so that seems quite whoa, inconceivable, right? So that's why we, we, we really 
bring it to the basics of a short moment. Because in every single moment, we have the opportunity to recognize the basis, the fundamental basis that's always on, always stable, always clear, and it's dynamic display. And notice, every, everything that I've said, we can't capture it. I mean, we, maybe we've recorded it on video so we could listen to it again. But if it wasn't recorded, it was like a flight path of a bird in the sky or a breeze in the air. But the power to know and to hear is always on. That never changes. And so we simply acknowledge moment by moment the stability of wide open, clear knowing amidst the current experience. And the reason why this is so carefully introduced is because this introduces you to your innate altruistic nature. Most education nowadays is a lot of talk about positive psychology. And this means that we're contriving a positive idea, trying to replace our current experience, if we think it's not good enough, with a more positive idea or experience, or thought about ourselves or someone else. That takes a lot of effort. It's like playing twister in space where you can't, there's, there's nowhere, you can't grasp onto ever, anything. So it's, we're trying to continue to put a label on space, positive, positive, and it, like a line drawn in space, it's self-released. But if we just maintain openness, we recognize that we respond in every circumstance in a way that's a benefit for all. And this is why I'm here, because of the results. And, in, and for example, in a really basic example, tonight when we were starting the video to watch this uh, video in this open meeting, all of a sudden the, the sound wasn't coming through the speaker and we had tested it prior. Now in the past, I would have felt a tremendous amount, a surge of, of stressful experience. Um, what, I have to remember what that was like. Um, that uh, maybe I would have felt, um, I can't even remember. <laughs> this is what happens. You completely forget all the ways that, all the things that created anxiety and tension and upset and blame and complaint. So rather than having a, an, an undermuttering of I can't believe they shut the computer all way, I can't believe they didn't know how to, to, to function this correctly, there was not a single storyline about any, anyone doing anything wrong. Now, there would have been some kind of sub-narrative before about something having been done wrong. And, and, there, and there was just complete openness. And when we maintain complete openness, we know the solution, or we know who to ask for help. And so we just maintain, for short moments, whenever we remember, complete perceptual openness. Just like the sky is completely open and all pervasive of every shade of blue. I mean, really notice this. The sky is never perturbed. It's never tweaked by any shade of blue, ever. And this is like our mind. The stable, wide open clarity is never thrown off by any experience whatsoever, ever. So we're actually already, complete relaxation is built in. In most practices, complete relaxation is an idea that it's something in the future. That if I do enough of these practices, of whatever they are, then in the future I'll feel relaxed. Or let's say conventionally it might be, okay, if I get that massage on Friday, then I'll feel relaxed. Or if I have a vacation, then I'll have that week off and I'll feel relaxed. Help me out here. What are some other things? Um, uh, if my partner acted a different way, then I'd be more relaxed. If uh, my children, you know, acted in a different way, I'd be more relaxed. If I had a drink, I just got a cue. If I had a drink, okay, I'm, I'm going to get home, I'm going to get a drink, then I'll be relaxed. You see, and everyone's trying to do their best, right? 
that everyone really wants, they, in, their, in their heart of hearts, just wants to feel okay, really okay in their skin line. And they really want to be happy, and they want everyone they love to be happy. And this is actually what we want for everyone. We want everyone to have their basic needs met, food, clothing, shelter. But if we're so focused on just trying to manage all the, all the experiences that cause stress, we can't even think about anyone else. It's us and our nuclear family, even if we can, if we can even think about them. And in a short moment, everything's open. Complete relaxation is acknowledged. Complete stability. So we don't have to wait. We don't have to wait for a destination in the future, ever. It's just acknowledged again and again until you never need to take another short moment. So a short moment is not a practice to get to a destination. It's a, it's a confirmation of reality right now. It's a reality check and a, a, a reality alignment. So it's, you can imagine short moments being momentary reality checks or, or reset buttons of confirming your wide open clarity pervading the current experience that self releases. And then it's a reality check that never goes away. Reality is as it is, but when we allow everything to be as it is, it's obvious. So short moments can be an obvious conf confirmation of reality, obvious confirmation of the nature of our mind, wide open and clear amidst the current experience. So you can, from the, right after this meeting, you can, this is the first skillful means, is a short moment. It's the very first skillful means because it gives you direct access to your instinctive recognition. It doesn't matter what I say if you don't experience what's being offered here. So the tools are crucial to be implemented. Now a short moment can be going to the website, kicking back and listening to a video, read, opening up one of the books. If you prefer to read, open one of the books and just read with openness and it's going to dawn in your own direct experience complete, stable, wide open clarity amidst the current thought, the current emotion, the current sensation. And then we no longer attempt to control anything. It is such a relief. So this is freedom in immediate perception. Freedom amidst the current experience. And it's a lot more fun because we're we, we tap our creativity, our skillful means of contributing whatever our unique gifts and talents are. And this is, again, a heartfelt wish of everyone to contribute generously what they're passionate about. And we're ultimately passionate about the benefit of all. This is our basic disposition of a human being. So a short moment is direct access, direct opening of our power to be of benefit to all, which always includes us, always. So it's just key to test it, test it. And, and even if, if uh, there's uh, ideas about what a short moment is, that's okay, that's a fleeting thought. Notice it just vanishes, leaving no trace. The power to know is always on, stable and clear. So more and more, we, we just settle in with our natural, increasing <laughs> capacity to be of benefit in every single circumstance, no matter what. And we see everyone as powerful rather than a problem. And this is a complete shift. Because it's so clear this is how we get along in a harmonious way when we can get along with our own thoughts, emotions, and sensations. We're no longer trying to micromanage ourselves anymore, so then we don't try to micromanage anyone else. Just openness, readiness to respond in a way that's 
completely loving, compassionate, responsive in a way that may be surprising, actually. Wow, I spoke up in that circumstance, or before I would have, would have not known what to say. Or I was completely quiet when normally I would have been reactive. So these really practical ways that our life starts to shift just opens up moment by moment. And so all of the, uh, the, one of the things that was mentioned was we can do anything. Now, usually that idea comes from, I am a separate someone and I can do anything. And I'm going to repeat that over and over until I believe it or until something happens. We're not talking about affirmations. When, when we just relax and recognize complete openness, we naturally respond in a way that's a beneficial for everyone. It's effortless. And we always thought we had to work hard at what we wanted or what we wanted to contribute. Or we'd avoid what we didn't like. So all of it opens up to easeful responsiveness. This is the skillful means of moment by moment responsiveness. That's a benefit for all. So it's a it's a a lifestyle. It really is a lifestyle. And the four mainstays empower the lifestyle. Short moments, a trainer access to all of the resources, and a global community. So the global community, uh, you have access on the, uh, on the website, and also in any meeting that you'd like to go to. And you can really, you can hear from everyone that's sharing in a practical way. We are not trying to stop thinking. That is only an introduction to the stability of your mind. So you could have raging thoughts and maintain the openness that's already on, and you are completely okay. And you can respond in a stable, beneficial manner, rather than reactive, rather than trying to shut down those thoughts or change those thoughts. When we can't, they're already self-released. And the other reason is, is, is because what happens is short moments is, is simply acknowledgement of reality, like I mentioned earlier. You really don't have to stop thinking. I just shared that in this meeting to, to introduce the alertness of your mind. If you simply showed up in this meeting and hung out, it would dawn on you. Because everyone here, that it's gone continuous, so to speak, or that are very familiar with the stability of their mind, that's your mind too. So the transmission potency of our indivisible intelligence when it's acknowledged is lit up because my intelligence is not separate from your intelligence. Just like the space between me and you is the same space that's pervading me and you. And we can prove that scientifically. And I'm going to speak from experience as well. I had an experience once when I was in the ocean and I was in a, in a some kind of twirl. I didn't know what was up or down. I thought I was, that was my, that was it. I thought that, um, I'm not long for this world. But you know what? I couldn't blink. It wasn't a tool. What was obvious to me, I couldn't take a breath. That wasn't a tool. I couldn't get into a certain position. That wasn't a tool. I couldn't change my current experience. Yet, what was obvious was the stability of the power to perceive that experience was not altered by the turning, whirling of the ocean that I was in. And so that, but I didn't know that I could have that 24-7. I thought it was a momentary glimpse of reality. And so short moments can be hanging out with the website, listening to a talk, being in a, you know, hanging out, just hanging out with friends that, that actually are perceiving reality in a comprehensive way. Or reading the books, you know, all these examples. Whatever you're drawn to, go with it. If there's a slight thread of 
there's something here that you're curious about, go with it. Go with it because it's going to open up to something beyond your wildest imagination. And you can speak to friends here after the, after the call as well, if you'd like. But the other thing is the immersion. And, and the, if anyone, anyone that would like to stay, we're going to shift into a, a clarity call, which has a slightly different format, but it's another way to enjoy short moments without thinking about it and just immerse in the texts that evoke the recognition of reality. <laughs> 